This is the image that you created the other day. When we took selections of these different objects, learned the different selection tools, and moved them into place on this image. Well, we did it all as a flat image. You've now learned about layers and how you can take objects and put them onto a new layer. We need to practice that a little bit, so you're going to do that on this image here. So you're going to select each of these objects again, and you're going to, um, you're going to do a command to put them up onto a new layer. Uh, you can use the same tools that you used before, or if you feel more comfortable with different selection tools, feel free to change the tools. The coral here is going to be the hardest for you to select because it doesn't have the white space around it that you did before. So let me just give you an example of what you're going to do. I think this one's going to be pretty difficult too. Um, <clears throat> so let me make a quick selection of this. I'm just going to use the circle marquee, the elliptical marquee like before put it into place. I hold down shift to add and continue to draw ellipses until I get my three little circles here added. Okay, so I've got a pretty decent selection. It may not be perfect, but I'm not necessarily looking for perfect now. So I've made a selection and I want to elevate this to a new layer. So I'm going to go to layer, new, and I'm going to do via layer via copy. And you can see it's created a new layer. I'll go ahead and rename that to, oops, wrong thing. Rename that to Sally's Sea Shells. Okay, so that is a layer by itself. Now, we didn't cut it out from the previous layer. If I turn that layer off, you can still see it down below. Okay, but it is a layer by itself, as you can see if I turn off the background. So to show me that you've got a layer by itself, I'm going to have you add a drop shadow. Double click, and we did this in the layers lesson, double click in the empty space and click on drop shadow. Now you can make different controls of your drop shadow, just make it fairly obvious so I can see it easily. Okay, I'm going to raise the size up, raise the spread a bit, and it's pretty obvious that I have a drop shadow here and I can see that in a quick glimpse of your image. So you're going to go ahead and do that for each of the objects, each of the uh, six objects, I think there are one, two, three, four, five, six that we did in this lesson. Elevate them to a new layer and add a drop shadow. You can copy this drop shadow like we did in the layers lesson if you'd like. Now the biggest difficulty that happens with this lesson is that when I go to select another object, say that I'm going to select this plate here, and then you again use the elliptical marquee, select it, move it into place. Now, if I try to do layer new via copy now, it's not going to go. It's going to tell me that it's empty because look at what layer I'm on. That section of the layer that I'm on is empty. I have to make sure I go down to the background where I still have actual pixels that are filled in. And now layer new via copy and I can take that drop shadow, drag and drop it, and now this plate has a drop shadow too. Go ahead and do this for all six objects on this plate.